Hello everyone and welcome to a new season of the Monday Milk Review. Now I'm sure you're noticing quite a different setup or you're wondering what the hell is this? Now if you have followed my Instagram you would know exactly what the Monday Milk Review is but if this is your first exposure, welcome! This is something that I used to do for fun and I'm starting to take a little bit more seriously and I decided to just give it a trial on YouTube and see how it's received with the audience. Um, so I'm using a camera, microphone and backdrop and lighting so I'm hoping this one goes well. But let's get into the video. Today we are going to be looking at wagon wheels. Now if you'll forgive me I'm gonna have to look at the camera to try and get my focus right. Um, there, wagon wheels. Now this one's slightly special to me because I know my dad really loves wagon wheels so I saw this and I was immediately super keen to try it out especially just for my dad's sake as well as my own because I actually really like wagon wheels too and uh, because of that I decided to buy some wagon wheels to just make sure I can try it on camera and make sure that the test taste sorry is fresh in my mind. So you know, it's your standard wagon wheel. You've got the dark chocolate, biscuit, marshmallow, as well as the jam. I love wagon wheels, especially with a cold glass of milk, but really any chocolate with a cold glass of milk, so good. But will it stand up to the test against the flavored milk variant? Let's pour it out and give it a shot. Uh, we'll shake it up first. Pop the cap. I'm immediately smelling the jam. It smells quite nice, but um, that strong of a flavor from the or scent from the jam, somewhat concerning because I wonder if that means that that flavor is going to be prevalent in this drink. We will pour it out into our glass. So as you can see here, just a standard brown. Nothing too interesting about the color. I'm afraid uh, a lot of the time you don't really get too much interest out of the color. Um, but as I said before, jam, very strong. The uh, consistency looks quite thick. I'm going to say it looks somewhat on the tier of an oak, um, but let's get into the taste test. Hmm, this is very strange. Uh, for my immediate notice of the smell, I think what I feared to be true has come to life with this. I, I don't pick up much chocolate at all. Um, I'm getting a lot of this sort of jam type flavor. And it's actually quite deceptively thin. It's not as thick as I expected it to be. Uh, but that being said, the consistency is still quite nice. It's not watery. It's still quite creamy. However, it's not on par with some of my favorites like the Norco Real Iced Chocolate. <clears throat> Would I say it's a good drink? That's a tough question. I don't think this is particularly strong for me. In terms of the flavored milks out there, this isn't a high contender. This is definitely one of those novelty drinks that if you're a fan of the chocolate biscuit, it's probably worth trialing and seeing for your own if you enjoy it. However, in my opinion, this one doesn't really stand out strong enough to really be highly recommended. It's one of those experience drinks and on the recent experience drinks that we've been seeing, so that includes the Oak series of Jaffa, Redskin and Chokido, I would much rather recommend Jaffa just because it's so much more interesting to drink. The chocolate orange is something not done in, um, <laughs> you probably just heard my cat freak out then. 
Uh, the chocolate orange is not something done before. So for me, that was quite an interesting drink, especially as when you drink it, you can taste that candy shell. I, I honestly think that one's a really impressive drink just for its range of flavor um, and would recommend that one over the wagon wheels. How would I rate this? It's not a bad drink. It's definitely not bad. It's actually quite nice. However, it's not a wagon wheel. Not to me, anyway. Uh, especially when one is so fresh in my memory as to what this should be. The chocolate itself, I don't get any real notes from. Biscuit and marshmallow, I understand, are probably really hard to bring forward. But to me, the only thing I really taste is the jam. Color it a different color, and I might even be fooled that there's even supposed to be chocolate in here. It, it definitely doesn't taste directly like jam. However, that's the only real flavor that I pull from this one. I think that about exhausts all of my thoughts on the wagon wheel flavor. Um, if you did enjoy this, I do hope you did because this is something quite new for me. I'm definitely not used to doing a whole setup for these. Um, if you like this level of production for the milk reviews, please let me know. Like, honestly, I really need feedback for this because this is a big change in direction. And especially if I continue to follow this direction, I always liked having the really rough, um, I'm just in my car aesthetic with these milk reviews. So if you like this, please let me know. But if you prefer the old one, let me know as well, because at the moment I'm just trying to decide whether I stick to this or if I stick to what I'm doing. Um, but that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the Monday Milk Review, and I think I might call this a season two of sorts. Uh, for me, this is a massive change. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave feedback. Um, consider subscribing, liking if you want to show your support, um, and obviously constructive criticism would be highly appreciated. Um, but yeah, that's everything. See you next time, guys. Luna. Bye, Luna. One king running to her now, and we still catch a fun fling. Met her out in Central Park, that's one side. Had the guard mentally spark, reflecting sunshine. She said she needs to stop.